Can hackers use photos of our fingerprints to steal our money and data? A video going around on WhatsApp is warning people to avoid doing the peace sign when posing for selfies in case fraudsters take copies of their fingerprints to hack into their phones and accounts. But how well founded are these claims? Well, the Cube spoke to digital forensic and cyber security experts to find out. This video claims that hackers can extract high quality images of our fingerprints when they appear in photos uploaded to social media. It says that the hackers can then use the copies to access our phones and other places protected by biometrics, leading to a range of cybercrime. They might be able to access our bank accounts to commit fraud, meddle with our SIM cards to access our phones, and even manipulate our passports, according to the video. But is it likely and even feasible that fraudsters would be able to do this? In theory, with the right conditions and we are talking you know right lighting um right camera right resolution right angle of the finger uh right closeness of the finger to the camera you know we're, we're talking very specific conditions here to make that work with most phones getting that level of resolution from holding your hand up when you're quite removed from the camera is going to be really, really difficult. So while it is technically possible that hackers can get hold of your fingerprints in this way, it's unlikely to happen in practice. Regardless, it's still worth taking care and practicing good cyber security when we're posting content online. To be fair to the original video, it does suggest some ways we can protect ourselves, such as avoiding showing our fingertips clearly and using filters to blur out sensitive areas. But these aren't necessarily the best steps to take if the technology to steal our fingerprints isn't really there. So what else can we do? I would avoid really these close, very close shots and oftentimes when there are these challenges, there's, there was I think the makeup challenge uh, when you could, went like really close and also showed your eye, the same goes then for the iris, it's not only the fingerprint, there is potential and the, the problem really with these biometric features is that you cannot change them, right? It's not like a password that you can change tomorrow, uh, You, this is like uh, something that you have permanently. My second advice is always use two-factor authentication so that you need like at least one additional element, uh, one additional thing to, uh, to authenticate yourself. Long story short, you're probably safe to keep spreading peace and victory in your selfies. For more investigations and fact checks, head to our website, euronews.com.